Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cine Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today we're going to be going over Worm Run Teams. High, mid, and low, the faction event. And then after that we'll go over the Underspire for Dragon's Claw. Same thing. A couple teams, three teams, two teams, something like that for that as well. <clears throat> Come on, voice. And the mic a little farther away from my nose and mouth this time. I listened back to the stream yesterday. I don't know if it's my headphones or what, but anyway. Trying to do better. Got the fan going too, so you might hear that as well. Like if you're super duper headphones. Um, but yeah. I'll get this stream set up. I think I started on time today, at least pretty close. Ooh, I'm a minute early even. Nice. Okay, so get rid of this description. A little blurb, I say. Let's put the intro. Zero, 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 zero. Um, don't need a thumbnail, I don't think. Gems of War live streams playlist. <clears throat> no, I'm not making a real person appear to say or do something they didn't say or do. And I think that's it. I'll jump over to the chat to get ready for that. Remember, we're doing this live stream thing. We're not doing pre-records anymore, so I super rely on y'all, yada yada. Got my tube buddy back. I'm looking at... They, like, shove my numbers in my face, and it's kind of depressing, but... <laughs> as we're still doing okay, though. I'm not saying... Like, we, we traded one number for another number type of deal. We're not doing bad or anything. Just looks crazy to the outside world, probably. Which isn't the greatest thing, because you know how the outside world is. They see a thing, they don't see behind the scenes. And then all they go on is what they see. So they don't know f exactly how we're doing. So we're doing okay. Um, let's see. Let me jump over here. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do uh, Worm Run teams today and Underspire. And then I want to talk a little bit about the Tower of Doom. Maybe do a deeper team or something. Maybe not. I should have Terran's World up, too. I, I had it up, and then I got rid of it. But I need it for the uh, Tower of Doom if we're going to do that. Uh, hit a like. Uh, turn in your ticket to the train. Let's go. Duh. Hopefully it sounds okay. I got the mic further away. You can always turn it up, though. <clears throat> Voice is being crazy today. I did not get to sleep last night. I had one of those nights where I couldn't sleep. So that's where I'm coming from today. It's always something, right? Me and my... Complaining. Grow a pair, sir. Alright, got live chat. I see Sana and Mark so far. Go away. Live chat. Okay. Alright, I think I'm ready. Everything going, going, going. Got it, got it. Got it, got it. Terran's world. Okay. Um, Sauna, celebrate good times. Oh yeah, Mark says good morning. Uh, Mark says, hi King Irongut is a blast to play with. I must say it's worth the 4,000 diamonds. For sure. That's one you can just always say definitely get. No riding the fence on that one. No, you'll see an Arachnean Weaver or a Lord of Slaughter <clears throat> or like a Tina or a Mistralis or, you know, and it's High King Iron Gut is just a different story. You just get it. Yoke is here. All right, Sana. Appreciate you. Um, Let's get into this uh, faction event because it's the event of the day. We'll go down here. We'll go to uh, Worm Run. It's another event you would try to do for free, depending on who you are. If you don't have the weapon, you probably want to buy up to the weapon, just to get it. It's not good or anything, but it's your chance to go and get it. For a cheaper price, pretty much, because you get more for your money. Not because it costs less, but because you get more for your money. So now's the time if you don't have this weapon. But deals damage to the first two enemies boosted by skulls. 
Usually not the type of weapon you want to use. I am going to try to do it for free. It's kind of like the class event on Thursday where you try... Like, the class event on Thursday you always do for free. But the faction event on Tuesday you try to do it for free. And then if you have to, you spend the 30 gems. Unless, like I said, you are a person that still needs the weapon. Then you should probably buy up to the weapon and just go as far as you can go. Oh dear, Huntmaster Aborius. R.I.P. Tyrion's here, headed to work, so lurker mode activated. It's going, right? When people say, how are you doing? I say, uh, not too bad. <laughs> Usually don't say, I'm doing good. Say, oh, you know, it could be worse, or not too bad. Alright, what do we got here? We got red and yellow. You guys know what that means for the mid-level team. Call it out right now. What's that mean? Who gets it? Who's going to get it? What's red and yellow mean? First of all, you could do the Takaka, but I don't think I'm going to do that because... Yeah. My red and yellow. I want to show... I think I want to show my Thrasku High King Iron Gut. This will help you super deep. But red and yellow, what do we do for the rest of it? Probably Harpy Mage. It's the high level team. Oh yeah, Tyrion got it. And Mark kinda. You know. I was I was thinking Tesla, but because I said mid-level, but definitely Takaka too. If you want to do Takaka, do it. I'm just not showing it because I feel like us streamers show it way too much. So I'm gonna show you something different that you can use super deep. And you could probably use this team for the uh Tower of Doom as well. Let's get to the Harpy Mage. Now we just need a weapon. I like High King Iron Gut in first slot. I think I, I just do the wand. Because you need a curse. Even though CT will curse, it's not... Like, we can make the curse happen. With the wand. But if you don't have the wand, it's okay. You just throw a... Uh, Reflection of good in there or something. Um, Obsidian Libram. Um, you know, you could just throw Mountain Crusher. Even though I kind of like the High King Iron Gut in first slot. So I don't really love that as much as the Reflection of Good or Essence of Evil. Obsidian Libram. So I just want to give you some other options. The Wand is just so good and, you know, we don't need CT till the end of the fight or till deeper anyway. So even though he's super blocked, it's okay. Class, I would probably just level up something, but if I was going to pick the best class for this, I'd probably do Titan. I know I picked that a lot, but you're going to see uh, a trend. If I need a Brown Storm, it's Titan. If I need a Purple Storm, it's Thief. If I need a Green Storm, it's Archer. Yada, yada, yada. If I need to be all Strix, it's Stormcaller. If I'm using Dawnbringer, it's Bard. We'll show Titan for the team code. We got a whole bunch of yellow and a decent amount of brown and no purple. Yeah, I don't count the wand. I think I'm going to go brown first. Doesn't matter too much, though. Eagle Banner, Stone Song, Eerie. So this team won't look as impressive. You can also do um, Sir Quentin Hadley, Guards Avatar early. Just like It's just like the Tower of Doom. That's what's cool about... My headset died. Can y'all hear me? <sighs> oh, 
Y'all hear me now? Stupid headset died. I had to plug it in. This is gonna be awkward. I've been using it a lot more because all the freaking banshees outside screaming. I have to I put my headphones on so I don't have to hear them. So I've been using my headset more. And that's probably why it went dead. Alright, so let me know if you can't hear me at any point, because it's plugged in now. This this charging cord is kind of effed up. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So if you can't hear me at any point, please let me know as soon as possible. But you can hear me right now, right? I can hear the game, so I'm pretty sure. Alright, so here's the high-level team. You're going to use this deeper later. Probably not right... You could use it now. It's still pretty quick, but... I would say Guards Avatar, Sir Quentin Hadley, or Takshaka. Takaka, Stellarix, early. The thing is, with the Stellarix, the, the Takaka, you're not going to be able to level a class. So if you're still leveling classes, you don't want to always use Takaka. That's going to slow down you leveling up all your classes to 100. Sounded like I fell over. <laughs> That's interesting. I'll have to listen back to it. Probably heard me cursing in the background, because I thought the mic wasn't working. It went doo 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 doo, and then it was red. Like it, and then I couldn't hear the game, so I figured it was off. Alright, Devour! Devour! See, he's still not slow. Neo's here! Alright, then you pick the treasure multiplier order, is what I do. So I'll go 1.3. Now I got both head headphones on, so I'm probably talking louder. So I need to hear the game to make sure the mic's still working. Normally I'll have like one off so I don't talk so loud. So if you can't hear yourself, you talk louder. Um, Let's take some brown. Might need an Anu in some seasons. To switch my uh, metals here in a sec. Alright, Devour. Get him back up. Devour. Get him back up. Devour. And this will be good for the people that uh, just got High King Iron Gut. So many, many reasons for me to be showing this team right now. It works with the Tower of Doom. Should be a really good team for scouts. Because it doesn't matter how many stats you have for this to work. You know, except for you want to have enough attack to Devour, but... Sure you will. Alright, let's change my metals before we get super deep. And I should have done a chapter, too. Uh, worm, run, high. Deep. We'll say we started at the 10 minute mark. I don't know. That one might be a little off. All right, here we go. Two seasons in the Anhu. Sounds good. We got a 1.3. We got a 1.2. We got a 1.2. Let's go to the 1.3. You can't devour the Doom, but you will have so much attack that you can just take some skulls. So it's fine. And that's only one fight. If you're a scout and you got to do five fights a floor, and there is um, 20 enemies. And only one of them is the Doom. It's okay to use High King Iron Gut. You'll, you'll figure it out. See, I just devoured. Now crash him. Crash him. So when you devour, you, you absorb their attack. So the deeper you get, the, the more that's going to be. And you'll just need, like, one skull or... Because, you know, scouts... Anyway, I don't want to say exactly why. But they think they need a lot of stats, but they don't. Especially for the yellow Tower of Doom. You got High King Iron Gut and CT. You got instant kills. You don't need any stats. I would be super confident going to floor 50 with this team. Floor 100. That's the cool thing about High King Iron Gut. You could just... Go, like, it doesn't matter how much, how strong the enemies get. 
You can smoke them no matter what, because you're devouring. It's like the more stats they get, the better. We got CT. Let's cast it. I got it. Ah, should have took the skulls, but it's okay. Ooh, that's good, Mark. But yeah, people just, some people might have just got CT yesterday. So that's one reason to show this team. The other reason is it's good for this faction. The other reason is it's good for the Tower of Doom. 1.25, let's go. Use weapon. Three times talk shaka. Yep. That's pretty good too. It's like the weapon to get up the Takshaka to loop with Takshaka, pretty much. She probably wouldn't want to go back and forth and back and forth, but you would use the weapon to get up Takshaka, and then you would go crazy with Takshakas. Because Takshaka puts on different colors than the than the uh, the spear, so you wouldn't like go back and forth. But it still sounds pretty good. Should have done Harpy Mage there. Like I said, I'm tired. I probably got like three hours of sleep last night, maybe. Uh, let's do this one. Ooh, got them both. Any extra turns? Dead. Sauna with the gifted. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. That means a ton. I'm always feeling like we're on the edge of being done. Sometimes, like, even though we're not, but... I don't know. CT and Wand is risky? I don't know, Mark. I don't really want to talk about it, because it's kind of stupid, but... I think anybody would have... Yeah, I don't know. Kinda. It's more like weird strangers than noisy neighbors. Uh, like imagine somebody pulled into your driveway, got out, looked at your car, and then they pulled into your driveway again, and then they pulled into your driveway again, and then they came back later, like three hours later, and pulled into your driveway. Somebody would call me paranoid, but it's still, it's ridiculous in my opinion. It's pretty much what happened. Hiking Arga! CT! CT's really just there to finish things off. You're not trying to loop or anything. It's not... Like you said, he's dangerous or something. Well, he's just to finish stuff off. That's why he's so far down on the team. He's just catching the extra mana. To, like, pretty much finish stuff off later. Like, deeper, I'm not going to cast him if there's more than one or two enemies left. He's not the first thing I'm thinking. It's the High King Iron Gut, the extra turn, the gaining the stats. Rain Man's here. Did I miss anybody? Got Neo. We got Livewire. We got Anita. Tyrion Yoke. I hope you didn't hear that. Um, let's go. Got this, but we do the High King Iron Gut first because he can take the brown in. And... Let's do this. The thing about Harpy Mage is it'll get up the CT. Like if you have the wand and the Harpy Mage and nothing else, if you cast the Harpy Mage, the wand won't steal all of CT's mana. There's a time and a place to cast either one of them. Mark says we have this old lady who lives by me and she has no muffler on her explorer and goes for nightly drug runs. <laughs> That's everybody around here, dude. Like, I'd be, I, if, if I called them all potheads, that would be nice. I mean, be assuming the best. Uh, yeah, this is where we do Harpy Mage, right? Oh, didn't get it up, though. Well, we're closer.
You see how my attack, like, starts over 100? That's just... I mean, yours might not do that, but the closer you can get, the better. Your horde level potions, your... Your medals of seasons will get you closer. Alright, so yeah, this team right here you can use for Tower of Doom, Deep, or this... Or boat. Like, you can use for Tower of Doom and Worm Run. Except for you have to use the uh, wand. You have to use the weapon. Like, don't forget. Instead of the Wand of Stars, you can use the Doom Spear. Just because you have to. I think I made that mistake yesterday in the live stream where I was telling people to use Nimbus Bow or something. But I think you can only use, like, yellow weapons in the uh, Tower of Doom, right? So, I don't know. Sana says that it's scary having people look around all the time. Yeah. You should buy her a fart can. <laughs> Go weld it on. Yoke says, are you worried about your kids making friends with the... Yes. We already have, like, one that's getting into trouble and getting suspended. And that's why I want to move. Like, it's not just me selfishly wanting to move. It's like the entire family needs to move. Because there's... It would be... be everyone here would be better off. Every single person. Nobody, like, would be better off staying here. Not even the dog. Like, one of our kids is getting into trouble. The other one is, like, depressed or something. The other one is young and needs to get out more. And the other one is, like, stuck in a rut. Like we need to get the heck out of here, dude. Um, yeah. So, did I show the team code? There it is. Tower of Doom and... Kinda. Remember the weapon. You have to use the weapon. keep forgetting to say that, but the for the Tower of Doom, you'd have to take out the wand and put in the Doom Spear. You got a dirty old man across the street? <laughs> you should, like, tape up uh, Playgirl magazines or something on your window. I need to think of something cool to do, too. I'd give you guys advice, but I didn't give myself advice, huh? Alright, so that's the high-level team. You already know the mid-level team, but we'll show it anyway. y'all are smart. You're mart. This is a faction event. We're not going to reinvent the wheel, but I did show High King Iron Gut, who was in the Soul Forge, who can also be used for the Tower of Doom, so I feel happy about that. Where are you at, Tesla? And you can wand it or mortal chain it or. You throw Tesla in first slot and wand it. That's what I do. Especially early. Like, deeper, if you're having trouble, Tesla losing, getting hit and stuff, and then put the wand in first slot and just cast it 50 times. Like, it, like somebody in Elden Ring who just chugs an Estus every time they get hit. You just cast the wand 50 times. As far as class goes, any 50% start would be fine. I'm going to do Oracle to level it, though. You know, maybe Corsair for the extra blue. Maybe you want to do... Maybe you want to make yourself a human to level that. Could level up a red class. I think most people would be leveling a class with this team, though. So I'll do this. So don't pay attention to my class. Just use whatever you want. And we got blue and red. The Sore Ass Banner. Right? I think that's good. Let's do a chapter. Sticking your tongue out. That might be detrimental to what you're looking to do, though. Um. Worm run. Dirty old men are weird. 25. I don't get how, like, I feel like most. I don't know. I don't even want to say that. Like, what, how does a, an old man get to be like that? I think it would be the other way around, you know what I mean? I feel like if you're a dirty old man, you must have not got... You must have not got busy when you were younger or something. 
You're like trying to make up for lost time or something. I don't know. That's how I always feel about it. Like, oh, he must have not, uh... He must be still trying to get there. Why is he like that? Sana says, yeah, I like to tease sometimes too, just to bug <laughs> back. Mark says, I finished Elementalist. What class should I level up for Vault Weekend? You have all your class weapons, right? That's always the first question. Got your Night Weaver weapon. You got your Spirit Walker Talker Caller weapon. <laughs> got all class weapons? Okay. So I have a class tier list if you want to... I would just go down that bad boy. You have Slayer at 100, you have Archer at 100, you have Thief at 100, you have Elementalist at 100, Titan at 100. Those are some good ones. If you have all those at 100, you got like Monk. Just think of all the classes that you see me using and then try to get those to 100. If I didn't say Arch Magus, Arch Magus is good. Orb Weaver is in there somewhere. And the class tier list that I did, you guys voted on. We did like a... We did a whole tournament. Like, it wasn't just me and my... Only my opinion. We ran polls for like six months just to do that class tier list. So that class tier list had a lot of forethought and... and took time. But I don't think it has, like... It probably doesn't have the newest of new classes on there. Like, it definitely doesn't have Night Weaver. And I don't think it has Spirit Walker, Talker, Caller. It might not even have Geomancer. But Geomancer is another one, just because of uh, who... You know, 50% start for Construct is good. And Plague Lord's pretty good, yep. Yeah, Bard's not a bad idea. Any 50% start is always better than a not 50% start. It's just easier to level them because they don't mess your teams up. If I'm, use I'm having to use Oracle right now, and it's annoying sometimes because it takes me longer to get up my wand or makes my teams a little slower, but it's okay. Got to do it at some point. Yeah, we can go over all the classes if you want. But I got that video out there if you want to watch it for more. Uh, Why'd I do that? Just give me my wand. Mark says I got spoiled with the 50% started. It's hard to go to another one. I know. That's how I feel. I did all of them, and now I have none left, I don't think. Maybe, like, one. Professor is doing auto while he works. Two mimics today, but I haven't seen a horde mimic for forever. Me either, but I... I haven't buckled down and actually tried for it. But I've got mimics just by chance. I'm like, one of these days I'm just going to get it while I'm not, not even trying. Like, the game will ask me to do two mini-bosses and explore, and I'll be like, maybe I'll get it right now. Or, like, during the Vault event or something. It's not impossible. Like, I do explore a little bit. It'd be funny. That'd be the funniest way if I get it like that. Just by chance while I'm doing something else and not even trying. Because otherwise, I'm going to have to really buckle down and do some boss chests every day. To get that thing. I'd like to make a video about how to get it. Because I know it's one of the hardest things to do in the game. Alright, ignore the class. Do whatever class you want. Do whatever class you want. Probably the best one to do would be um whatever one is human. It's like War Priest or something like that. Just because it's a crappy class. And you might as well take advantage of... 
the Holy Saint Astra being on your team and getting a 50% start for the crappy class. And you probably get more, like, stats, too, for having all humans. Alright, low-level team. These are always get. These are, like, harder and harder for me to do. A low-level team... That's why I need to do a new account playthrough, and I'm going to pretty soon. I'm so used to using legendaries and mythics now, it's crazy. Even just, like, underworld legendaries. We got Bork. Do something with Bork? And the fact that they, like, I was, you know... I, I was closer to a new account playthrough before they put out the Chalcedonis, the Seekers, the Tods, and all that. And then they put those out, and I got used to recommending those for a while. Then they nerfed those, and now we're further away from our new account playthrough. And, like, they took those away from me that I was using for a while. So now it's like... I have more trouble doing a low-level team than anything these days. I kind of like... I haven't shown Ferocity in a while. Maybe I'll just do that. Or you can do Gargoyle. It's probably been longer since I've shown uh, Ferocity, though. He's just a common. You just have to be in a guild. Rage Reaver. If you don't have Rage Reaver, it's okay. You'll be alright. You know, use your Mountain Crusher, Obsidian Librum, Essence of Evil, Reflection of Good. You know, the cool thing about this is it makes a bunch of red and makes a bunch of extra turns, and it makes the Ferocity really set off that third trait that we're trying to really set off. So that's why this is the best weapon for Ferocity, but you don't have to. Clash, you have to make yourself a Shaman. And banner, not good. We need red and something. Red and either blue or brown. Could do this one, the gate banner. No. Here we go. Meteor. Here's your low-level team. You can also do triple finesse Nimbus bow. You could also use the glowing core as your weapon, probably. You got the uh, Staff of Storms with the Finesse. If you have the Wand of Stars. Like, weapons, I feel like, used to be a thing and no longer... Like, you can almost just use the Wand whenever you don't have whatever weapon you see me using. Alright, let's put a chapter. Worm Run Low Level Team. Let's shoot it. Livewire says the best time to boost those bad classes was the vault event for me. I'd use a hero class when verse farming or opening your keys after. Yup. Rayman says waiting on a refresh of the classes one day. I'd love to see classes that are not used a lot shown some love. They need to do that with a lot of stuff, but they can't monetize that so they don't do it. Take extra turns to boost up your ferocity so they hit harder. The Rage Reaver will do that for you too. That's probably correct. 1.4. Yeah, let's hit that like button. I can't see it go up though for some reason. Like I'd probably have to refresh. It used to go up live. I don't know what happened to that. Rayman says, uh, Wand of Stars is my favorite weapon. It's the Swiss Army Knife weapon. Yep. I still think it's going to get nerfed, but... I asked Tacit about it. He said no. He don't think it's. He doesn't think it's going to get nerfed. I swear I saw it somewhere, though. I can't remember where. It was like on the forums or something.
All right, let's show the Rage Reaver for once. Watch how much red this does. I didn't do it like stupid. Watch me do a karate kick fall on my face. Karate kick I do every day. Practice it every day. The crane kick, I'm on a pole. By the sea, in the in the, on the beach with my gi on. Got a cool thing uh, tied around my head like a like the karate kid. I practice the kick every day. You put up the one knee, you, f you pump it, and then you kick out the other leg. I'm doing it on a, a, a very... at the balance. Fall in the water, hurt myself. Do it 50 times a day perfectly, and then I s try to show somebody, and then I fall, and I crotch myself on the pole. As soon as I try to show somebody. That was me showing the uh, Rage Reaver. It crotched itself on the pole. 17, 13, that's nice. That's pretty good. There's four slackers out there, but we still love you. Just being here is enough. All right, we're going to get up the Rage Reaver next turn no matter what, but there is nothing else to take anyway, so okay. Here we go. Do the crane kick. Yay, it did it. Professor says, has anyone here ever done the beta testing? I'm a little tired of nerfing as I thought that is what beta was for. I think it's just to test whatever they're going to put out for the next update and patch. They like let you play it and then you, you give them feedback and then they don't listen. Right? Beta testing is, they say, hey, we'll let you play the game. We'll let you play the update. We'll let you play the patch before it gets released. And you got to give us feedback on how we, like, what, you find any bugs? Do you, what, what do you think we could do better? And, like, we'll, we'll take those ideas and we'll, we'll crumble them up. We'll wipe our butt with them and we'll throw them in the toilet. And then we'll say, hey, we did beta testing. Anita with the gifted, thank you so much. Carving her name in the side of the train right next to Sana. It says Sana and Anita. Doesn't say the what is it was like a train? What's like the a type of train? Greyhound is a bus. It's like a famous train. Like, what's the name of a train? Like, a type of train. Like, a brand of train. Like, a, like Coca-Cola or Kleenex or... Chad wants to put it on. The Polar Express? Yeah. Change it from the Polar Express to the Sauna Chad Anita Express. And there's room for everybody, but they just... They elbow everybody out of the way, and they carve their name in the side. I appreciate it. They're running to the front of the line. Amtrak. It's no longer Amtrak. It's Sauna Track, Anita Track, Chad Track. Oriental Express. The Sauna Express. Anita Express. That sounds pretty good. The Clip Bomb Express. Bring in their, their graffiti. They got their spray paint. Doing a giant mural on the side. Dregor is here. A giant mural. Xena Warrior Princess. Clip Bomb Chad. Um, Ferocity. Remember you do double damage to red enemies too, so. Later on you might choose a red enemy. Right now we're just crushing everything. 
This is where you would level up your shaman class too, like... You'll use teams for a period of time, and you may only touch them every once in a while after that, but... It's like the, the, the Cedric um, Skeleton Key team. You might use that for a while to build up your gold to get into a good guild. Like, that's still a thing. I just don't like when people gold farm in specific, like, do nothing else. Like, I like when you use the Skeleton Key team to do your adventure board, to do your dungeon, to do, like, as many things as you can. Like, you might use that for a period of time. You might... Just like you might use Ferocity for a period of time while you're leveling up a uh, Shaman. Once you get Shaman to 100, it's like, uh, you know, I could use Finesse now and get Stormcaller to 100. Rowan isn't the same. Like, Rowan you're going to use forever. Like, I still use it now. But some teams you might just use heavily for a period of time and then just go back to them every once in a while. That's what I'm trying to say. There's the low-level team at the high, mid, and low for Worm Run. The Fart Can Express. There you go. Look, the first, um, whatchamacallit on the, uh, class is called Ferocity. Talent? Is that what it's called? A talent? So yeah, you're gonna go, you're gonna have to go to level 90. Um, sometimes you'll get lucky and get them all the way done for free and get all rewards for free. Make sure you're doing treasure multiplier order. Like, do the best you can. Because if you just fart around and do whatever, you might not make it. But sometimes it's just impossible. You'll get stuck and you'll need to buy one in the shop. It's just 30 gems, though, and I think it's worth it to get that last orb for 30 gems that's barely anything but if you're really really strapped for gems maybe you just do the free battles and move on 30 gems should not break your bank that's like your kid asks you for a quarter for a pop or something and you can't afford it all right let's do the underspire now we got dragon's claw i'm probably gonna switch to nisha's first I doubt we're going to use Seasons with Dragons. Just guessing ahead of time. I have no idea, though. I haven't looked at this at all. I haven't watched anything this week. I haven't even looked at this. I mean, I have an idea, because it's Dragon's Claw, but... Good Underspire week. We got Diamantina. Maybe this is the time. Diamantina seems so obsolete. But... If you can't use Stellarix, might be Diamantina time. We got the Great Worm. Ooh, we got Venerabolix. We got Veneratus too. We got Egg Thief if you're low level. Not bad. I guess you have to use Diamantina if you're high level. Asensia. Venerabolix, maybe. And hmm, got the Doom Spear. What do we want to do here? We got 50% start for Diamantina, and then we got a empowered converter. We're just trying to get up the Diamantina. This is just the high level team. I'll do a different team, so don't worry. Red and purple, yellow and green. We got green and brown. Red and purple. The Wings of Destruction. Our whole team would be red, uh, yellow and blue, though. They might go with the Mesa Claws. It's available in the Soul Forge. Something like that, maybe. We'll try, we'll see. Uh, but the stupid Essencia has this dumb storm. That always gets in the way. Because you want the Diamantina storm to... Hmm. We have to put her up front, then? I 
I don't know. We'll try this. We'll make ourselves Dragon Guard. So we have all dragons for our weapon. That's why we're going to do Dragon Guard. So we can... The weapon will work properly. Banner. We got a ton of yellow and blue. Even though we don't use, like, two of them, we don't even... Yeah, we don't really care, though. So what are we going to do here? We could go green and brown, actually. Brown, green, minus red. Green, brown, minus yellow. I don't really want a minus red, but that's, like... The only thing. Oh, well. Uh, let's see how this goes. I'm just trying it real quick. I'll do a um, chapter if it works. All right, Rain Man, have a good one, man. Anita says I'm going to lurking. Have mother-in-law for sale. Starting bids at fifty cents. <laughs> yeah, there's a vault event. That's why I'm not doing the underspire this week. I mean, I'm gonna do my free ones. Like always. But I was gonna, like, once I got to 10k gems, I said I was gonna go to the seventh boss. But then there was a vault event as soon as I got to 10k gems, and I said, nope, not this week. Brown to yellow. Brown to yellow. We got it. That might be, like, how a lot of battles go. The lantern. We don't need the Anu. So we're fifty percent starting our entire team, pretty much. All right, I think this is going to be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and put a chapter. Underspire High. And don't worry if you don't have Diamantina, we'll make another team for you. You might be able to slot in like Ishtara there, though, if you just want to get going. Ishtara is probably the best dragon you got if you don't have Diamantina. From Dragon's Claw, anyway. Did not have our conversion, right? Brown to yellow. Probably still do okay here. Shooting all the way down like that. Those dragon gems just make it even better. Of an empowered converter. You're not only getting where it converts. You're getting it shooting down through the board too. Alright, one more fight with this team. Then we'll try to make a lesser, like no Diamantina. You might even pay. Livewire says, yay, did all eight stages of rewards for free two weeks in a row. Nice. Yeah, I fall short sometimes. It's like every other time. I finish it for free like every other time, probably. Stupid Essentia. It's helping our Diamantina get up, though. Sucks our Diamantina is only taking in, like, purple and red, though. Oh, well. I think I'm gonna start with this. If you guys have a tweak to it, I think it could be tweaked. I'm not 100% sure I like this. I'd have to use it more throughout the week, but for now, this is what I got for you. Could be tweaked. Maybe you don't need Essencia. Maybe use a different weapon. But definitely Venerabilis and Diamantina. Hero is first. Yeah, we could put the hero in first slot. It wouldn't change too much, except for like... I don't even care if Essencia dies, really, so... 
Okay, it does its job, and then it does nothing after that. It does its job before the battle even starts, really. And then it, I wish it would leave. <laughs> anyway, did I show the team code? Come on, dummy. I think I did, but there you go. We'll do a mid-level team now with no Diamantina. The only reason I have Ascensia up ahead of Diamantina is because of the storms. Diamantina will hit hard if you have a Bone Storm, and if you have Ascensia below Diamantina, the Light Storm will take precedence. Then you won't have a Bone Storm. Otherwise, I'd throw Ascensia at the bottom of the team and just ignore it, but that's the problem with stupid Ascensia. All it's doing is the 50% start for dragons. Everything else about it is annoying. Its storm gets in the way. You can't even... It does nothing. Unless you have Dragon Spirit on your team. Pretty annoying troop. Alright, Underspire mid-level. Or, I guess... You have no... What are you going to do if you're mid-level? I might go like a Great Worm thing. Do like three great worms. Let's put the it puts the skulls on the board too. So what else are you gonna do? If we can't use uh, like my my mid level team is not allowed to use mythics. So if you don't, I would say Ishtar with the Doom Spear maybe and like uh, Venerabolix. If you if you don't have Diamantina, it's probably the best way to go. Put a bunch of yellow on the board and maybe even throw a Cincy on there too. Just take off the Mesa Claws and take off Diamantina and put on the Doom Spear and Ishtara. If you're a high level person without Diamantina. Red and purple. Maybe we use a different weapon. Maybe we want to summon. Alright, do we have anything else? We could use the Doom Spear. That might be smart. Might be smart. like, how do you get your team up, though? You're just kind of taking skulls. How do we get our team up now, though? There's no good 50% yellow class. Or bard, I guess. I could do bard, I guess. Banners, red, and... Yeah, our whole team is horrible. Like, we don't have a lot of colors. But we're kind of, like, making skulls. So... I just want to see what happens. Let's try it. Yeah, Lightstorm would be good, but it's like, what class do you do? And we take Skulls. This is going to fall off later. You might have to loop with your Doom Spear. You might have to change classes. Just an idea, in case you don't have Diamantina or Ishtara. The Vinya, maybe. Then you put less Skulls on the board, though. Now my Dual Shock's not working. What is going on here? Just disconnected for no reason. It's like charging. Hmm. I don't know. Just a neat little idea. Not 
I don't know if you're going to go the seventh boss here. Let's do one more fight. Does hit all enemies though. This does hit all enemies. And if you just if you want less skulls, you could do Davinia. But Davinia is the same color too. I don't know. Like when you're doing a, a Great Worm or an Eye of Argus, you want as many as you can get because you're kind of trying to get skulls. You like kind of got to go all in. I move my team around, but oh well. Bang! There you go if you want to try it. Like I said, this would be for people that don't have Diamantina or Ishtara. It's the Great Worm you can get in the Underworld. He should be pretty easy to get. Even a beginner could get this team. Like, I'm doing my free battles. I'm just... It's the Vault Event Weekend. I'm doing my free battles. I don't have Diamantina. I don't have Ishtara. What can I do? Here you go. Get to the second boss. Use this team. Dang, I probably didn't put a chapter, did I? Pissy buttholes. Say 55. Mike D is here? Oh my goodness. I haven't seen you in like a week. You been out in the cabin or something, man? Off the grid? What's been up, man? I need to check Discord. There's probably people hitting me up on Discord, and I'm, they probably think I'm ignoring them, but I haven't I haven't looked at Discord in like a freaking week again. I need to get on there. Maybe I'll do that today. Alright, now what? If you're a low-level player and you're trying to do this. You used to be Huntmaster Aboreas. Maka's here. You might just Doom Spirit. I mean, I could see a person out there who's getting real mad at me this week because they could not afford that Doom Spear. Then our whole team has to be yellow. Cynthia is a legendary. Can't use it. Right? Because this yellow allies... 12 gems of a random color. 64 scatter damage. Maybe. Definitely that. It's not bad. Too bad it's blue. You throw dragon eggs on there just to make sure you don't die. You could do this for some barrier. Now we're looking at no mythics, no legendaries. It's not going to be easy. Maybe that. I think I'm going to go the Dragonian Monk for some defense. Let's try this for the low level players. And I'll probably stick with Bard, I guess. Got a whole bunch of yellow. I'd probably go purple. Bell banner. Alright, for you low level people out there, hopefully you can get the Doom Spear at some point this week. It's very important. I don't know what I would do if if you don't have it. Probably Mace of Claws, Dragon Guard. Or I don't know. Be rough. I probably skipped the Underspire this week if I was a beginner. Just worry about doing the Vault Event this weekend. Tower of Doom. Usually buy torches. I don't think you should this week because of the Vault Event. Like when I do my first, I might just buy like 50 a day and just see how far I can get. But I don't know. We'll see. Or I might overbuy the first week just to make sure I do the whole thing. I'm putting a chapter, sorry. What? 
All right, for you low levels out there with no Ishtara, no Great Worm, no Diamantina, and you're just trying to get to the second boss, here you go. A Dragon Spirit could enchant your whole team. The Dragonian Monk could barrier a lot of your team. The Doom Spear could just loop. So where you been, Mike D, man? Sometimes I'm like, man, there's people missing. But, and then they come back like, where, <laughs> yeah, and then it's like, oh, that was who was missing. We had some good, we had some new people yesterday. I don't know if they're back today. I haven't seen them yet, but that was cool. Hey, a Sentinel, I'll do this and that'll be it for the Underspire. Then I want to talk a little bit about the Tower of Doom, just because... I feel like people get too hung up on stats and like... Getting those power scrolls. And I want to explain again why it's not worth it. Five rubies. Five boobies. That'd be weird. It just rhymed. Get your mind out of the gutter. He said pissy buttholes earlier. Now he's talking about five boobies. What is wrong with him today? Did he not get any sleep last night or something? What? Ghidralis is here. We mentioned boobies and summoned a Ghidralis. <laughs> All right, there you go, low level. Underspire, out. All right, most of y'all probably already know this stuff, but Tower of Doom. Like, you do feel bad for your scouts and stuff, but just take a look at the magic, for example, because that's the only one people really care about. We need 15 magic scrolls to get one magic. I feel like some people think in their, like, if you get a magic scroll, you get a magic stat for your entire guild. It's not how it works. We need 15 people to go get a magic scroll to get one magic. That's 15 sigils. And some people are going to get zero boons like they should be doing. So not everybody's going to be on board, first of all. First of all, you know, you got the people at the bottom who aren't going to do their share either way. Second of all, you got people doing it the way they are supposed to be doing it with zero boons, like following the scout. Like we're As a scout, you should feel good that people are following exactly the path that you're laying out for them. If, if somebody has a zero, that means they are trusting you and doing exactly what you're telling them to do, pretty much. So unless every single person's on board, this is... Diminishing returns big time. And even if every single person's on board, we need every single person in the guild just to get... We won't even get two magic right now. If every single person in the guild got a magic scroll or a power scroll right now, we would get one magic. One magic stat. And is that really going to help you anyway? And then it just gets harder from there. So the way I see it, the scouts are getting the easy to get stats. It's just like a pity a pity key. You know, the first pity key costs five gnomes, then it goes up to ten, then it goes up to fifteen, then it goes up to twenty. It's just like a class. The first level, you know, if you're on level twenty five, it costs twenty five. If you're on twenty six, it costs twenty six. If you're on ninety, it costs ninety. If you're on ninety one, it costs ninety one. If I go get a magic scroll right now, nobody gets a magic stat. We get one out of fifteen. It'll pop up down there and say 1 out of 15 and still say plus 14 magic. If every single person in the guild gets a magic right now, we'll go to plus 15, but we'll still be one short for plus 16. 
That's called detrimental returns. That's a lot of sigils. That's a lot of gems for just one magic. Maybe two. And why are we still using magic anyway? Like, if I was a scout in the Tower of Doom... Let me go open it so I'm doing the right rooms. Got floor seven. Especially this week. This is not the week to be going for magic scrolls and power scrolls and stuff. At least in my opinion. Because usually scouts are high level players. They're not like the lowest level person in your guild, right? So floor seven. Two is magic. Not going to hit it. Three is haste. I will hit that though. And five. So we got three and five. If I was a scout, why'd I take the Doom Spear off? If I was a scout, and I'm never a scout because I don't jump out of helicopter out of bed to do the Tower of Doom. And by the time I even start going on it, like they're already on floor 50. So, and I appreciate the scouts a lot, and this is why I'm showing them this team, so they don't need any stats. Where's that Venerabolix? There it is. I'll do something like that if I was a scout. And we could do Titan... To make a brown storm to turn it to yellow. Our banner would definitely be some sort of yellow banner. Probably yellow and brown. Minus purple, sure. And that would be my team if I was a scout. That way I wouldn't have to worry about anybody else and what they're doing. I'll put on all seasons. Let's do that. You know, you might get a little bit of attack, but... Which would help your High King Iron Gut Devour. It's going to go from, like, a what percent to what percent. Alright, what did I say? Three. Alright. Let's do this team real quick. It's just the diminishing return. Like, the scouts get all the stats that are worth it. There comes a time where the stats are no longer worth it. And that's after the scouts get them all. Because it starts out like, oh, one magic scroll gives you one magic. And then two magic scrolls give you another magic. And then three magic scrolls give you another magic. But, of course they had to entangle me. It's going to be a bad example here. Ugh. Of course. Come on, stupid. Come on, stupid. Anyway, let's do this. We got CT as backup anyway. If they want to entangle me, I'll just CT the crap out of them. And who cares about the one Doom? If you're a scout, this is the team you're using. There's 20 enemies. Four times five. Only one of them is a Doom. And by the time you devour the other three enemies on that Doom's team, you're going to have so much attack that you can just take one skull. Or you can just uh, Doom Spirit to death or something. Oh, uh, we got five. See, we got 12 attack there already. Plus 12 attack. That's just from the, the scouts, pretty much. So, what's my devour rate on my High King Iron Gut? 89. You need one devour and you got... That's an 89% chance. Like, we don't have to start with a 100% chance. We got CT. All 
All right, who can can these be devoured? Yeah, you can. Bang! Hundred percent chance now. Lots of attack. Um, let's do that. This. Devour. Extra turn. Devour. I'll even do it on a, a doom fight. Just like to get that next attack stat would, would cost probably like 13 sigils. Just to get 1% chance. And that's a lot of gems. Maybe I should do this first. Oh, we got the Doom here. So you don't do the Doom. Devour everything but the Doom. Get your attack up. Just killed him that time. Oops. Ah, uh, shit. Come on. Being a little slow, but when you're the scout and you're just trying to do super high level stuff, at least this will work. All right, here we go. I'm not. I could cast this and knock him down. Watch. It's still an extra turn. That's 67 damage, and then bang, he's dead. So that's what I would do as a scout. I want to use High King Iron Gut and CT. Instant kills. It doesn't matter how many stats the enemy has. It doesn't matter how many stats you have, really, except for your attack, but... We're not going to sit there. There's no freaking way we're going to get, like, another 10 attack, for example. No matter what we do. We take every attack scroll there is in existence. Like, we can count them, right? We could sit here and count them. Just to, does, it, does it really make sense? You could, like, count them if you want to. Like, how many attack scrolls are there, anyway? If everybody took them. There's none so far. I'm up to 12. There's one. Two. Three. Four. And like the higher you go up, like the longer it's going to take for other people to get there anyway. Like some people, nobody's going to sit there and do the entire tower on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. The stats you're going to be getting, some people are going to be finishing up on Sunday or Saturday or... There's like so many reasons that you shouldn't take these magic scrolls, attack scrolls, life scrolls, armor scrolls. I can't even think of all the reasons, but I'm trying to, as best I can, to explain it. There's a couple of 22, 23 as an attack, and 24 as an attack, and like how many is that? Then you would need every single person on in your guild to do it. And right now we need 13 of them. 13 attack scrolls just to get one one attack. And I'm talking about attack because I think High King Iron Gut's the way to go. If you're doing magic, it's even worse. What are you going to do? One more damage with your spear? If we get 15 freaking magic sigils? If we get 30 magic sigils, you might do two extra damage with your spear. If we get, if we get 45 magic uh, sigils, you know? It's really like 47 magic <laughs> sigils. You're gonna do like three extra damage or something with your with your spear. If we get like a hundred magic scrolls. You're gonna do like maybe five extra damage or something, and we wasted a hundred sigils to do that. Look how much they cost. For me to get six doom sigils, I have to pay three hundred and fifty gems. So how much is this costing? If we need 30 for three, if for two magic, we need 31, 31 magic sigils or scrolls or whatever. We need 31 magic scrolls to get two magic. That's 31 sigils times five. That's freaking 1500 gems just for two magic. We're supposed to be like getting uh, rewards and and. Trying not to use a ton of gems.
Anyway, I hope that explained it without being too abrasive and weird. That's just the way it comes off. That's the way I talk. I'm not trying to be mean or anything. I'm just trying to explain it. Does anybody understand? Does anybody not understand? Like, why the stats aren't worth it and why you don't go for the magic scrolls and stuff? You're going to have five scouts going to, like, 30, 50, whatever. And as they're doing that, they're getting the stats that are actually worth it. They have to go in every room anyway, so they're not spending extra sigils to get you extra magic. Anybody else that goes into an extra room for a magic scroll is spending extra sigils. Like, they're going out of their way to blow a sigil that they shouldn't have blown. Scouts have to do it anyway. They have to go in every room no matter what. So the, the stats that the scouts get are worth it. Because they have to do it either way. The whole point of a scout is to tell you where not to go and where to go. If everybody's just going in every room anyway, then why would you need a scout? If we're gonna take magic and attack and power, and if we're just like not gonna, if we're gonna take every scroll except for like one or two, then why do we even need scout? Might as well just go in every room then. Anyway, hopefully you understand. <laughs> Doctor Mops. All right, Chad, have a good one, man. Livar says Venerabolix is the oldest dragon in Dragon's Claw. If you need magic, cast Venerabolix. Or just use High King Iron Gutter CT. Like, if your attack isn't up to snuff, use CT. Instant kills. And you just gotta deal with one Doom out of 20 enemies. 5% of your enemies are a Doom. I hope I explained it. I'm not trying to be, like, a jerk. And it always sounds crazy for Tower of Doom, because you appreciate your scouts, and... You couldn't do it without your scouts, and you don't want to make your scouts mad, and you want to, like, say thank you, and... But the whole point of a scout is so other people don't waste sigils. And then to ask them to waste sigils, it's like, uh... Whatever you call it. Doesn't make sense. Is all, all these people in the guild getting boons are just not falling, like, they're not falling directions. <laughs> you know? Like, why, like, sorry, Twisted. Sorry, Downtown. Sorry, Lord Mike. Sorry, Cookie. These people don't follow directions. Like, you're making what you're doing obsolete. Counterproductive, yeah. It's like the whole point of a scout is to tell you which rooms not to go into. So if then everybody goes in every room, what's the point of a scout? <laughs> you know? The more rooms you go into and the more scrolls you get, the less a scout even matters, and we might as well not even have one. Oh, look at this. We got a verse on here? Sick. Alright, I could play for like 11 more minutes if you guys want. And it says complete all adventures on a single... Alright. Let's go get it done. My example of still using Rowan right now. And if you're a lower level guild, you might not be getting all rewards anyway. If you're a higher level guild, you have more stats already anyway. Like, there could be a guild out there that's saying, hey, get all the magic scrolls. Hey, get all the power scrolls. But we don't really... I mean, they're not shouting that from the... I wouldn't like it anyway. If they were, like, I'd be like, okay, I guess. Like, I might as well just not even look at... Terran's world, then, if I'm just going to go in every room anyway. You're supposed to be saving the rest of the guild sigils, not telling them to go in more rooms. Your youngest is 22 today. Happy birthday! She was going place, Googling places. You can get free stuff on your birthday. Nice. Have some people come out and sing to you. You sit down at dinner. Somebody took you out for your birthday. You're at one of those places. You're not sure. Do they do that here? Are they really... When somebody gets up and goes to the bathroom, quote-unquote. Like, oh no, are they going to do that to me? Are they really going to do that? Are they going to come over here and sing at me? 
And then if they don't do it, you're disappointed. But if they do do it, you're embarrassed. <laughs> if your guild says that, time for an upgrade. Yep. And I'm never, like, talking about my guild. That's, I got me into trouble before with the Bats Out of Hail. Me harping on the Tower of Doom and how to do it right and blah, blah, blah. And they took offense to it. They were too sensitive. I gotta, like, say these things for the masses, not... I'm not singling out any person or guild or anything. It's just for everybody. If we're going to go get magic and attack, we might as well get freaking HP and armor too and just not have any scouts. You're going to be doing every freaking room on some of the floors if you're getting power and magic and attack and stuff. So what's the point? A scout is supposed to be, like, your highest level person, like, going in every room and, and, and showing people the way. Like, think about if you're a scout, you're saving everybody in your guild so many gems and so much time. You should be very, like, I would feel so good about, if I was a, you should feel really good if you're a scout. Like, you're doing some good work. You're helping so many people. You're helping like 29 other people save gems and time. If you had zero scouts, every single person would have to go up the tower and go in every single room. Probably should take brown and purple here, but I'm going to take skulls. And I got a verse, baby. Dr. Mob says my guild made me waste my sigils. No map, only just posted rooms. She's at her own house, but I'll tell her you said happy birthday. Okay. Hey, at least you got a 22-year-old that's out of the house. These days, it feels like people are like 25 before they move out. Or 30. <laughs> I moved out when I was 18, like, immediately. I was trying to move out when I was like 17, 16, but I think I waited till I was 18. Like, they made me wait. Alright, dungeon. We got a perfect yesterday. This would be crazy if we get it again. We got a perfect yesterday. Oh! Oh, two perfects two days in a row. That does not happen to me. I was about to switch and everything. I said, I hate this first room. And it's always a freaking trap. I'm about to switch as soon as I get a perfect. And then I got a perfect yesterday. And of course the game would say, here you go again. Here's another perfect. Because you might switch. She's using this the level Oracle. Just like the Rowan team. Dude, I got per That's the first time I think ever I've got two perfects in a row. Maybe second max. That does not happen. It always comes when you don't need it, too. Like, I could craft another Stellarix right now. Like, what am I going to do? Go get two Diamantinas and two Stellarix just to flex? I think the strat right now, like, they, they added another dragon when I thought they weren't going to. At least they used the same resource. So I guess I just saved my Dragonite just in case now. That's just like them. They would trick you into doing that. Like, oh, you think we're going to add another resource, huh? Well, here's Stellarix. Just cost a little more. Same resource. They lull you into thinking they're going to do that for a third time, and then that's when they add the uh, second resource. How do I have nothing right now? Alright, whatever. After this, I'll probably get out of here, y'all. If you have any questions, put them in the chat. Are you trying to kill me? Even though it doesn't matter. 
trying to kill me. Got him entangled. The sweet, I love the glaive. That might be my favorite weapon. Somebody asked me what my favorite weapon was, and I said Duskbringer. But actually, it might be the Doomed Glaive. Now that I really think about it. Wait, that happened yesterday. What is going on? It's like the same time every day. The past two days. You guys saw that? We've been having all kinds of trouble trying to stream today. What the heck is that? Doing it again. We're having all kinds of trouble. My headset died. My controller's saying it's not charged when it is. Now that's happening again like yesterday. I wonder what that is. Does anybody know PlayStation? We do have other PlayStations in the house. That's what I'm thinking. Like somebody's logging into their account or something. I don't know. It's like taking my stream down for a millisecond, but bringing it right back up. That happened yesterday. We're having a, a deja vu. We got a perfect. Did that happen during the perfect yesterday too? Do you stream on your PS5, Mark? You'd have to be streaming to, you know. It's like taking my stream down and bringing it right back up. Strange. I mean, that's happened before. It's not like the first time in history, but for it to happen twice in a row like that. You guys saw it yesterday, right? It happened twice yesterday. Now it happened twice today. My guess, and I'm not like a technical type of electronic dude, is that we have another PS4 in the house and maybe they're logging into their account and it's just like bad timing. I don't know why that would affect me. That or somebody's trying to get on my account. Which would be the more paranoid thing to say. Oh, we got this. Man, we got the, uh, what's it, whatchamacallit, I hate that thing. This thing sucks whenever you get this and you're doing like a skull spam team. He's got that at reflect 100% of skull damage. Maybe we can change him into something else. Oh, he's dead. First time in history, round about half past ten. I mean, I guess it could happen when you're not streaming, though. Sometimes when I turn my PS4 off and I turn it back on, like, a couple hours later, it acts like I'm not connected to the Ethernet cable for, like, the first 30 minutes, even though I am, and it's let me use the Internet and everything. It just keeps popping that stupid message up. quirky we're getting a perfect dungeon right now for anybody just joining us the second day in a row which is crazy never happens blue gems destroyed luckily i keep getting this uh golem or else i'd be dead I'm just kind of slowly killing this last enemy Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Keep giving me red for. Like, who's putting all this red on the board? Nobody. Ugh, come on. They're making me earn it. They're really making me earn this perfect. All right, we got skulls. We got this extra turn. Nice. Bang. Boom. All right. It's going to start raining, I wish. Oh, you said raining men. 
Hallelujah, it's raining, man. Don't make me sing now. All right, last fight for the perfect second perfect in a row. We got the big double major glories, and now we've got the two perfects in a row. We've been playing the game so long, we're getting crazy accomplishments just by playing it every day. The craziest RNG is starting to happen. Just from playing the game for seven years. Pretty much every day. You guys play every day. Does anybody here not play every day? I think that's probably the question. Here, I'll put up a poll before we get out of here. I'll put up the do you play the game every day poll. We like doing polls. Do you play gems of war? Every single day. Now, you know, if you play, if you like take one day off a month or something, you can say yes. I just mean like out of the most weeks, do you play every day of the week? Uh, don't be a, t you don't have to be a technically guy and say, oh, well, I took off uh, two months ago on a Tuesday. Like, in general, do you play the game every day? Like, you, you're you never taking more than... You're not doing back-to-back -back weeks of taking a whole day off. Like you might take one day off every other week or one day off a month or something. That still counts as playing every day, in my opinion. Like, your goal every week is to play it every day. I just want to see what y'all say, like... Because I do. That could be a thing. People t people talk about stats. People talk about money. Um, how come no one talks about, like, do you play the game every day or not? I think that's a cop-out for some people. Ah, well, you spend money on the game. That's me. I'm the jerk saying that. Yeah, well, you spend money on the game. That's that's me. And somebody else would be like, well, you have a lot of stats. You have way too many stats. But where's the person saying, yeah, but you play the game every single day? I don't. Well, maybe that's your problem, dude. You gotta play the game every day. If you want to get everything, and if you want to get that thing, if you want Stellarix, if you want the Horde Mimic Mythic, if you want more stats, if you want to be in a good guild, if you want to get a shiny troop, if you want to blah blah blah, if you want this, that, this, that, if you want all the mythics in the game, you're probably gonna have to play pretty much every day. If you're taking two days off every week, that might be the reason you don't have whatever. And that's how I recommend people play it, too. And I know it's kind of crazy to have to play a game every single day, but, you know, play it for an hour or two every day. Don't cram in, like, five hours on a Saturday. That's not... This game is more designed for you to play it every day for a, a certain amount of time. Like, get it done as quick, quick, as quick as possible. Don't be sitting there and playing the game for five hours every day. You know, on a Monday, you might only play for an hour. On a Tuesday, you might have to play for two hours. On a Wednesday, you might only play for an hour. On a Thursday, you might only play for an hour and a half. On a Friday, you might play for two hours. Saturday, you might play for two hours. Sunday, you might play for an hour, hour and a half. Something like that. It's not going to be the same every single day, because some days there's going to be less stuff to do. And you can give yourself a kind of a break, but make sure you jump on the game, grab a tribute, do your adventure board, do your dungeon real fast. Like That's what I'm saying. Like Most of us should play every day, at least for a few minutes. I think most of us should be saying, yes, we play the game every day. Because even if you think that's crazy and, like, ridiculous, you could still, like, do a, a 15 minutes real quick in the morning or at night and call, and you've played the game every day. That's what I'm going to do on my new account playthrough, probably. I must still be playing my main account, so I'm not going to have, like, a ton of time for my new account. So what I'm going to do is probably play for, like, 15 minutes a day, and then I'm going to stream for a couple hours. So in total, the new account playthrough is only going to be like three or four hours a week. Most of it's going to be on the live stream on Sunday where I'm playing for two hours. But I'm going to jump on, do adventure board, do dungeon, maybe do a couple battles. 
play for 15 to 30 minutes every day on it. That's how you make progress in this game. You gotta, like, play every day for at least a little bit of time. There's certain things every day that you can't... Like, on Tuesday, you, the faction event. You can't get those rewards on Wednesday or Monday or Thursday or Friday. You know what I mean? On Wednesday, there's a pet. You can't get that pet on Monday or Tuesday or Thursday or Friday. Most likely, unless you get super lucky with the pet rescue. On Thursday, there's a class event. You can get extra progress. You can get some little bit of extra gems. You can't get that on Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday. There's an adventure board every single day that you can't get the next day. There's a dungeon every single day that you can't get the next day. There's an XP booster that you can't get the next day. Like, there's stuff every day that you have to come and get or else you can't get it. So it's hard to like take a day off. You have to really... If you want everything in the game and you want to make progress and you want to do well and you want to get those things that you're saying you don't have and it's hard to get, well, you got to play every day, unfortunately. There's almost something every day that you can't get the other days. There is, really. The dungeon, the adventure board. Like, this dungeon will not be here tomorrow. I would have, if I didn't play today, I wouldn't have got a perfect, I wouldn't have got those emeralds, I wouldn't have got those diamonds, I wouldn't have got those shards. If I didn't do the adventure board today, if I just didn't play today, I wouldn't have got that verse. It'd be a different adventure board tomorrow, it'd be a different dungeon tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm probably not going to get a perfect, and I'm definitely not getting emeralds, because today's emerald day. The adventure board is going to be totally different tomorrow, I'm not going to get that verse that was there. That's the reason you play every day. First of all, it's to build momentum, build a habit, like. But second of all, there's certain things every day that you can't get the other days. If you don't log in, you're not going to get it. Hallelujah. Hopefully it's not my modem. It does it every day. That's weird. And why is it taking me... Like, it's not, um... You know, I got my laptop running, and my laptop doesn't go down. Like, you'd think if it was the internet, my laptop would go down, too. It's just the stream, and it's just on the PS4 for just a, a second, and then it comes right back. It's like just my account, like my YouTube account or something. I don't know. Sana plays every day with two accounts. Mark says 14 hours a day for two accounts. Dang. Dragger says, it's my daily game. Used to be WoW, but I quit that game. Hey, we're kind of similar then. I used to play WoW quite a bit too. It's been a very long time though. Like, I can barely remember that game now. The The thing that's kind of burned into my memory is like, uh, mol Molten... Whatever it's called, Molten Layer. Not Molten Layer, what is it? Molten Core. Like, my first ever raid on, on WoW is like, burned into my brain. And I did it a few times, too. And then I went to Blackwing Lair. But for some reason, Molten Core is, like, burned into my brain from doing it so many times. And then, like, just a lot of questing and riding a mount and riding the griffins and stuff. Like, I remember all that. I remember, like, Goldshire, I think it's called. What's that one town? Like, I remember, like, the big dwarf city. I played Classic WoW. Like, I played it when it first came out. Like... Burning Crusade type of stuff. It's hard to remember though. It's been so long that I can't. I can't even really remember. I remember doing PvP like I had a rogue, like a little baby rogue. I used to just do PvP with. I'd go into like an arena and just backstab the crap out of people when they were almost dead. Like it wasn't even that good, but I would pick off kills by stealthing around and backstabbing. That was fun. Effley's here. Vote on the poll, F. Lee. Do you play the game every day? I'm just curious. Just like when I asked, do you have the wand? Just like I asked... What was the other other poll I did? I just like to see, oh, how many gems you have. I kind of asked that in the chat. I thought that was interesting to see how many gems people had. It was good for a time. Yeah, I definitely had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with WoW. I kind of look back on it as inferior to EverQuest, but... In, in reality, I had a lot of fun. I would stay up all night. I would, like, drive to a friend's house and just to play it all night. Like, I don't know if I ever had more fun than when I was, like, raiding on WoW or playing all night, staying up all night. 
playing WoW. It's got a special place in my heart. It's definitely a top 5, top 10 game for me. Even though I talk down on it a lot, I don't know why I do that. But I really love it. It's just the type of person I am, like a negative Nancy. If you listen to me talk about WoW, you probably think I hate it, but I actually love it. And I, it's one of my favorite games. Alright, let's end the poll. I'm going to get out of here and get to work and maybe look for a house and all that stuff. You guys done voting? It's 100%. This is the first 100% poll I think we've ever done. Everybody here plays the game every day, looks like. Well, that's good. That's a thing I don't have to, like, harp on then. You guys just already do it. That's the first step, almost, to, to getting good at the game is playing it every day. And when it comes out of my mouth, it sounds crazy that you got to play this game every single day like a job, pretty much. But if you want to if you want to get good, you want to get the stuff, if you, you got to do it. 11 votes. 11 out of 11 play the game every single day. And that's half the people here, at least. And maybe the people that didn't vote don't play every day. And they're just embarrassed. I don't know. All right, y'all. I'm going to get out of here. You're the best. I'll see you um, Thursday for the class event. We got Dragon Guard. And then we'll be deeper in the Tower of Doom. We'll be deeper in the Underspire. We'll be preparing for the Vault event. You know, it should be an okay stream there. And then we got the Vault event on Friday. Right? Vault event Friday. Vault event Saturday. Elden Ring. We're going to fight that boss on Sunday. The Beast Clergyman. He's like the final boss of that uh, tornado island. Then we'll be heading to the burning tree. It's pretty pretty deep in the game. One of the last bosses. Tomorrow, if you're here listening and you're somehow here, I don't know why, but uh, EverQuest. I'll probably be doing Tower of Frozen Shadow level 2 and 3 at least, maybe even 4. We're going up the tower. That's funny. We're going up the tower in Gems of War and we're going up the tower in EverQuest. Kind of even going up the tower in, in Elden Ring. It's just a theme to the week. We're going up a tower. But yeah, have a good one. Like, share, subscribe. Center joining helps a lot to hear good about the channel. Comment below. And I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for joining me today. Sauna. The Sauna Express. Uh, Mark says I have one gap. Should I wait for Friday? 100%, dude. You never use a gap when you're... You never use a gap outside of a vault event. Never, ever, ever. It's kind of like you got a Chuck E. Cheese coin. You don't use your Chuck E. Cheese coin at the store, right? You take it to Chuck E. Cheese. You got Chuck E. Cheese tickets. You're gonna you're gonna take them to the Chuck E. Cheese and and turn in the tickets for the for the the slinky. That's what gaps are. You 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 got your Chuck E. Cheese coin. You got your Chuck E. Cheese or whatever it's called. Whatever it's called where you live. That's like a little. I don't know if you even know what a Chuck E. Cheese is. It's like a freaking kids like play place where they got arcades and ski ski ball and you get earn tickets and you got coins that they give you if you spend you get anyway you know what i'm talking about family fun center freaking dave and busters Chuck E. cheese that's what a gap is you got a gap you only use it during the vault event you never use it otherwise if it's not a vault event you're not using your gap because it's not worth it you're not going to get as many vault keys you're not going to get as much loot the vault events when you use your gaps. Otherwise, you're giving a Chuck E. Cheese coin to the grocery lady. <clears throat> yeah, never use gaps. That's like one of the biggest mistakes you can make is use a gap outside of a vault event. And they don't even tell you at all. Like, spending gems on a gem chest is another giant mistake you can make. And nobody warns you. It's just bad value. Like, using a gap outside of a vault event is bad value. Like, when the gaps first came out, like, before anybody even knew what they did and before we even used any, I was hypothesizing that we could use them outside of a vault event. But I quickly corrected myself and said, no way, Jose. We got to only use these during the vault event. So there might be, like, one little blur, like, one stream a year ago before we even had, before we even had it, when it was, like, coming soon where i said hey we could use these outside of a vault of it but then i quickly went back on that statement when they came out all right y'all thanks for joining me today sauna mark 
Dr. Mops, Effley, Dragor. We got Maka Felix. We got D F I S Ivy. I'm saying that right. I just call you Ivy sometimes. You call me a cheater. <laughs> Why? I'm just kidding. Dragor, Sauna, Livewire, Ghidralis was here. I said boobies, and then Ghidralis came. <coughs> Livewire, Maka, Dragor. We got Anita. We got Mark. We got Rain Man. We got Chad with the two. What's up, Cine, Sauna, and Sinners? I just thumbed, I just hit the like on your uh, super chat there. Livewire, Dragor, Anita. Can you guys, do you see that? It's the Anita, Sauna, and Chad Express. I need to quit saying that because I feel like I'm talking it into existence, which is preventing... I don't know. Professor was here. Rain Man was here. Livewire. But I do appreciate it so much, and that's why I say it. Yoke the Ham was here. Neophyte was here. Sauna gifted and it went to Gavin. I never heard of that person. Anita gifted and went to Adam. I think I've seen that person once. Once or twice. Uh, Tyrion Shark was here. Uh, we got Yoke. We got Tyrion. We got Sauna. We got Mark. We got... We got Sauna, Mark, and Yoke the Ham are the first three. Thank you so much. Alright, y'all. Have a good day. I'll see you Thursday. Unless you want to support the channel and, you know, run that EverQuest tomorrow and hit the like and leave a comment. Like, Chad, Sauna, they do that. Other people do, too. I'm just, like, giving them their flowers. Chad and Sauna will go on to the videos, even the ones they don't watch, and they will watch them and leave a like and a comment. So I appreciate that. But have a good one. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. Peace out. Get those vault keys open, by the way. I didn't say that very much, but, you know, the vaults this weekend, so...